Were you guys a fan of Zombie Strike? Did you enjoy the Zombie Strike side strike? I did. Are you a fan of Captain America and the Avengers? If you said yes, do you want to look like this? If you said yes, stay tuned. What's up guys, DJ Darkbeat here, bringing you another Blaster Review video. Today we're talking about another Hasbro reskin. But this one's actually pretty cool. I did enjoy the original Blaster that this one is based off of. If anybody knows the Zombie Strike Side Strike, then you're going to know this Blaster well. I do have a Side Strike somewhere in storage, and after looking for quite some time, I cannot find it. So... We are just going to move along with the video. I bring you the Captain America. Captain America. But it's the Captain America Side Strike. It is an exact reskin of the Zombie Strike Side Strike. And I like the, the Side Strike. It was a cool little blaster. Came with a holster. Had storage in the holster and storage in the blaster. Single shot, top prime, pistol. It was a, a pretty cool little blaster. Uh, I did like it. Hopefully this one is... Upgraded to today's performance a little bit We shall see but let's get it out of the box see what we're working with and go from there stick with me guys Okay, the Captain America Captain America, but Call it what you want. It's a side strike without a doubt. Let's get it out of the box and see what we got going on I really really love uh, the new packaging from Hasbro. I love these open display cases where you can actually see the blaster, touch the blaster, and it's just, it's really cool, and I've been trying to keep these packages uh, just as is because they are very easy to display this way as well, so it's very good as a collector. All right, so let's get this out of here, but I remember the turtle gun kind of exploded when I opened it, so let me be careful here. All right, see, there we go. There's the blaster. Here are our wonderful elite darts. And let me see if I can get the holster out without really breaking the packaging. Okay, not too bad. The package has survived and I can reuse for display. All right, so this is what we get. Blaster, holster, 10 elite darts. All right, guys, let's jump into it and see what we uh, got going on here. Stick with me. Okay, so the Captain America, Captain America. We're going to call it the side strike, Captain America, because we know the truth, Hasbro. A nice little blaster. Uh, it's supposed to be just a fun little blaster. Comes with the holster, and let's see. It does holster quite nicely, and you can just clip this right onto your pants or waistband or whatever have you and you get from there so very cool it's a top prime blaster it has storage for two darts in the front and four darts in the holster and it does come with 10 of our beautiful elite darts and i know you guys are just dying to see the elite darts so let me i would not deprive you of that so let's open these up just to see how wonderful oh it's like the old these are like the old elite darts from like 1990 i, I mean these these are really these look like the very old elite darts i'm not even joking it's like these were recycled usually a lot of the the hasbro blasters come out like the the turtle sweet revenge came with uh, different colored elite darts that look really cool but the heads of these darts look like the really old uh elite darts uh you know I'll have to see if I can uh, show you what I'm talking about. But anyway, it has storage for two in the front, one in the blaster, and then you have storage for four darts on the holster, which is actually kind of cool for a little uh, play around kind of blaster with the holster. It is nice to have extra storage on a single shot, especially. So you got your storage for your four darts on the holster, and then your three darts in the blaster. So it's pretty cool. Uh, definitely, uh, that was actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That was a pretty good, uh, 
pretty good shot there. I, I actually have just changed my mind and I actually have some hopes for this now. Let's see. Yeah, that's not bad. For this little thing, it's not bad. So let's get into it a little bit. The, the grip, believe it or not, the way they have, it's a small, I mean, this handle, if you can see, this is very small. But the way they have it flared down like this, it's just enough that my, if, if they didn't have this flared piece here, my pinky would be hanging off the grip. With that piece there, it fits my hand pretty much perfectly. Uh, the grip is a little too far forward for the trigger. Like uh, my finger is a little too far up in the, in the trigger well. So it's not uncomfortable at all, but uh, it's just a weird, weird pull of the trigger, uh, the way I have to position my finger in there. But I do have to say for a small grip like this, a tiny little grip, the contour on it is perfect and it feels really good. I I'm not going to lie. This feels more comfortable than some other blasters I, I've, I've had in recent history uh, to, to hold. It, it, sure, it, it is comfortable. Now you got a tack rail on the bottom, again, storage for two darts, and you have some built-in kind of iron on the top. Um, and that's pretty much it. There's not much to this one. Uh, pull back, top prime, and fire. That's pretty much all there is to it. So after a uh, I'm very curious now to put this over the chronograph and see what it's doing because I can almost assure you that from what I'm seeing right here, this is 70 plus. So let's see if that's right. Hopefully it's right. Let's go over it a little bit. Let's play around. Let's get this thing shoot and see what it's all about. And then we'll go from there. Stick with me, guys. All right, guys, here we go. Captain America, take one. Load it up. Standard elite darts. See what we got. 68.5 i'm telling you i felt it i felt it was up there a little bit 70.8 74 62 9 69.5 all right i'm gonna try some these are x shot darts let me try an x shot dart 66.2, and now let me try a chili dart. 68.2, and let's go with a couple more elite darts. 67.2, two more. Fit, that was a bad, that was an old dart. All right, I am uh, 69.5, so not bad. 10 darts, we got a 10 dart average of 67.2. For this little guy right here, that is not terrible. All right, guys, let's get a little accuracy from this puppy now and see how far she shoots. Let's take her outside. Okay, guys, so I got her loaded up right now with the elite darts. I'm going to do three elite darts, three chili darts, and three uh, waffle darts. 50 feet away, I usually don't go that far with elite, but I have faith in this little guy. So let's see what it can do. Elite darts. I'll tell you, they're whipping. Flying like crap, but they're whipping. All right, we're going to the chili darts. See if these are a little bit better. Definitely much straighter. But uh, tell me something we didn't already know. Okay, and now we are going to try three waffle darts. Here we go. Well, not the most accuracy, but it's getting the distance, and it was pretty damn close. So let's bring it inside now. And, uh, go from there all right guys so we're doing things a little backwards today but i was so impressed with what it did outside i want to see what kind of accuracy we get here at the range so i put up the accuracy target and we're going to go from there i'm going to uh, i'm going to fire off three elite darts and then three um chili darts just to be fair but i was a little impressed let's see if this thing can actually hit what it's aiming at all right there's one 
These are elites. Two. Three. All right, now to the chili darts. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go to the conclusion. Okay, so the Captain America side strike. Color me impressed. I was not expecting much, if anything at all, out of this. I was expecting just another cash grab that Hasbro used their new hydro dipping that they stole the idea from X-Shot through whatever they had the licensing rights to on a blaster just to sell it. So that's what Hasbro's been seeming to do. They dig an old blaster out of the woodwork, they throw some new paint on it, and they sell it. That's what they did with the Sweet Revenge. That's what they did with the Tetrad. That's what they're doing with a lot of blasters now. They're throwing some new paint on it, and they're reselling them. I don't have a problem with that because at least some of the blasters they're picking are good ones. So if they're going to break into the archives and pick out a good blaster and throw some new paint on it and sell it for a decent price, have at it. You have my money. I like that. As long as it's a good blaster, as long as it's worth the money, I don't care. I do like a lot of the old blasters, as you can see. So I wouldn't mind re-releases on a lot of them. A, a reskin, a, a fresh paint job, some new internals, some better numbers, some just good stuff. But I digress. That's a, that's a wish list and wishful thinking. Let's talk about this. All right. Again, comfortable, tiny grip, but comfortable. Trigger. It, it's, everything works fine. It, this is a, just a me thing that... I, I would have preferred the trigger was up about an inch. It would just be a little bit easier, uh, uh, less of an awkward kind of feeling. It's hard to explain, but it's just a little awkward, but not a problem. I don't have any issues pulling the trigger, and I don't have any discomfort holding the blaster. Again, you got a little rail on the bottom. You can put a little uh, laser or flashlight or something on there, any end strike. You got the storage for the two darts, which is nice. And... The holster is really cool. That's what I liked about the side strike. The zombie strike, when it came out, was the holster. It was kind of cool because you can, you know, you can, you can carry it on you without having to, like, throw it in your pocket or something like that. So it was kind of cool. And plus to have the dart storage on the, on the holster, that's pretty cool. Especially when you got a single shot, basically jolt. You know, it's nice to have some extra darts on you. So overall, I was getting a little bit better when I vacuum primed you know that's when you have the dart in and then primed and then fire it was a little bit better that way than if um i primed it first and then loaded it up and fired but not dramatically different that would take a lot more testing to see if that really makes a difference but it's not like when you vacuum prime this it's pulling the dart in any further it can only go this far so the tip of the dart is sticking out when you when you load it, but you can still holster it with the dart in there. Uh, the iron sights, they're there. I didn't use them. You know, it's just point and shoot and, and figure out your mark and go from there. So it's not really rocket science with something like this. You just point out what you're, you're looking to hit and see if you can hit it. If you miss, you adjust and you try again. But that's it. So overall, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, do you have to have it? No. This is not something that's going to change your world. But if you're a fan of Marvel and Captain America, for sure. If you're a fan of the Zombie Strike Side Strike, this is, this is I think, an improved version of it in terms of the performance. But again, that's something that I'm not going to be able to directly tell you because I don't have a brand new Side Strike here and I cannot find my old Side Strike. So until I can find that and give it a little, little test, I, I can't be certain on that. But talking about this one, not bad. It hits elite standard, and that's good. As long as it, it can, it can. As long as it performs, I don't care. Now, again, I am not a Hasbro hater. People think I'm a Hasbro hater. That is not true. I love Hasbro. They started it all. They will always be the the main guy, the mothership. They are it. I'm not mad, Hasbro. I'm disappointed because Dart Zone has been killing it. They are running away with it. They are making all kinds of pro level stuff. And they are making other stuff. They are making stuff for everybody, which is really cool. Hasbro seems to 
really hate us in the hobby because i'll tell you what this blaster looks cool i would love to upgrade it but you know what i can see that it looks like it's solvent welded and they do that crap all the time so that's not easy to open up and they skimp out on all the things i don't even see any you know what <sighs> i digress it is what it is but hasbro came out with the strife x that was a pretty good blaster you know it came with its own lipo it, it was hitting over 150 feet per second short dart they came out with the really cool AccuStrike short dart. And then, mm, flatline. They've been stagnant ever since. Nothing else has happened. So what the hell was the point? They came out with the one thing that created this Nerf ball that we saw once and then it was over. I mean, th there was the stupidest trying to money grab in the world. They, they tried to, to grab everybody from the hobby and went down and then they said, nah, we're not doing this. I don't know. Whatever. But Dart Zone's killing it. They're coming out with a lot of cool stuff, but they have stuff for the masses. They have stuff going from $5 up to $50. And the $50 stuff is the same stuff that if Hasbro had it, they'd be selling it for $150. <sighs> Captain America Side Strike. Pretty cool blaster. Comes with the holster. 10 darts. Storage for the darts. Put it on your hip. Have some fun and go from there. It is what it is. I like the blaster. It performs pretty well. It's snappy for a little thing. So that's pretty much all I got to say about it. So, you know, it is what it is. I do like the fact that it has the holster. Throw it on your hip. Grab your shield. Grab your mask. And go to town. Do I look like Captain America now? He is the only Avenger that had a pistol. Do I look good? Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are quickly approaching the 500 subscriber giveaway. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Don't forget to check out the Gentry of Extraordinary Foam Flingers. And all my socials are down below. Feel free to contact me. Talk, ask any questions you want. I am happy to respond. I'll see you guys in the next video.